Warning, it is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any marathon product, that the person performing the work has both read and fully understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this product. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the product or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, lock out and tag out the product, walk away from the product, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Marathon Equipment. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. If you've ever been in the back room of a big box store or anywhere there's lots of cardboard, you might have seen a vertical baler like this one. These machines take bulky cardboard boxes and quickly make short work of them by compressing them into easy to manage bales. It takes a lot of power to do this, so it's important to know how to safely service these balers. So today we're going to talk about how to lock out and tag out your Marathon Vertical Baler. Before entering any part of the baler, you must ensure all sources of energy have been shut off, all potential hazards have been eliminated, make sure that the timbers are inside the charge chamber, and the baler is locked out and tagged out in accordance with OSHA and ANSI requirements. Warning, there are multiple forms of stored energy that could be a potential hazard. Check with your supervisor to ensure you have a full understanding of all hazards before proceeding. Specific lockout and tagout instructions may vary from company to company, so the following instructions are provided as minimum guidelines. Important, if the platen is pressing against a load, you must move the ram up, if possible, before shutting the baler down. Move the main disconnect lever to the off position. Padlock the disconnect lever with a keyed padlock. Along with the padlock, place an appropriate highly visible warning tag on the disconnect lever. And take the padlock key with you. Stored hydraulic energy must be removed from the baler's hydraulic circuit for a complete lockout tagout. Make sure that energy is relieved by manually depressing the solenoid valve pin located in the center of the end of the coil on the directional control valve. Keep in mind that de-energizing the hydraulic circuit does not prevent hydraulic fluid leaks due to gravity. So always have the appropriate spill containment available. Important: The panel box contains high voltage components. Only authorized service personnel should be allowed inside the box. Authorized service personnel should be allowed inside the box only after the baler has been locked out and tagged out. After locking and tagging the baler, try to start and operate the baler, as outlined in the operating instructions, to make sure that the lockout tagout is effective. If so, remove the key from the switch and take it with you. If you need to perform any hydraulic maintenance on your Marathon vertical baler, you will first need to do the following before you lock out and tag out the baler. First, make sure that the baler is empty, and then install six 4 inch by 4 inch by 28 inch timbers that are in new condition, horizontally from front to back on each side of the charge chamber. Warning: When placing the timbers inside the charge chamber, do not reach into the baler. Safely use another object, such as one of the spare timbers, to push each piece to the back wall of the chamber. Next, close and latch the baler chamber door and lower the feed gate. Then, lower the platen by turning the platen switch to the manual lower position and hold. Release the platen switch once the platen is resting on the timber cribbing. You will notice a change in the sound of the motor when the platen is in this position. Finally, move the main disconnect lever to the off position and continue with the lockout tagout process to ensure that you can safely perform the required maintenance. 
After completing maintenance, remove the baler from lockout tagout and move the disconnect lever back to the on position. Run the baler through a cycle to ensure it is properly operating before allowing the baler to be used by an operator. That's it. Now you know how to properly lock out and tag out your Marathon vertical baler. If you have any questions, please contact Marathon Technical Services at 877-258-1105. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time, here at the Service Shack.